What's going on everyone? My name is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft. I've been back to work, busy trying to um to, to get this dug down even lower, restock the TNT, and um then we ran into some issues here. It's hard to see. Let's go ahead and down one of these night visions. And I have actually lit up mostly the area, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about mobs. But as you can see, now there's water everywhere. And yeah, it's not gonna work so well dropping TNT into water because it's not gonna explodificate. That's a word. Any of these blocks. So we're gonna have to do something about that and sure I could go around I did a little bit I tried doing it this way with dropping some sand in but there's just too much water to worry about so I've done a little bit of thinking and I think the best thing for me to do is to get my own supply of sponges because um every time I need them there's nobody on that really has any or <laughs> that they're willing to let me borrow so yeah I, I think it'd be better for me to just go ahead and go maybe raid a few ocean monuments or we'll see if we get lucky maybe maybe all we need to do is raid one. Oh, this is another pain these blocks mm, we got it mm, yep yep there we go <laughs> no problem yeah there's a couple floaty blocks here and there but we'll get them all cleaned up anyway so i think i'm gonna get a few things together and we will go uh see if we can find ourselves some sponges straight away all right i picked up some supplies i think we're gonna need to raid some monuments and i'm gonna switch out my food source because sorry gigapies just not enough saturation for me i think we're gonna be taking a beating and i'm out here at my map district because i'm pretty sure nobody's really been over here look at this there's this nice what is this warm ocean biome that we could get some of this coral from if we need it so it's good to know that that's there but i'm assuming that if we fly around a little bit through this ocean we'll probably run into an ocean monument pretty quickly I also just thought of something. It might be one of those missions where we need to take our Respiration Aqua Affinity Helmet here. And unfortunately, oh my gosh, it doesn't look right. Oh, I just don't look right without the beard, but we're going to have to put the beard away just for the remainder of this mission and uh, help keep us safe and be able to mine some of those blocks underwater, of course. Wow, there really is a lot of coral around here. Like, if I really need it, I could probably decimate this place and nobody would even notice. This is seriously crazy. It goes on and on. I can't get away from this coral reef. Okay, there we go. First ocean monument. And I just realized I, um, I probably should have also come in with invisibility. That probably would have been smart, but um, we'll see if we can do it anyway. We're gonna we're gonna blast our way in. I'm gonna take the water breathing, so don't have to worry about that. Night vision is mainly for you guys, so that you can see it. And we'll try to do this the uh, the the 007 way, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully we don't die. I did bring extra totems just in case this goes completely wrong. But um, yeah, we'll come in here. And I think if we do like this, 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 and this, um, we're probably about to get wrecked, aren't we? There we go. That should blast our way in. And oh, yeah. Oh, big guys right there. Big guys right there. Yeah. Okay. Let's circle around this thing. Let's just circle around this thing because um, we did take a little bit of damage coming in. <laughs> and we're still getting shot. How is there two in here? That's not normal, is it? For two of them to be in here? Oh my gosh. Yeah, we really should have done the invisibility thing. We're just bob and weave, you know? You just, just do circles around these things. It'll be fine. Break line of sight. Break line of sight. That's the trick. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Maybe we should have brought a trident. Aha, uh -huh, one down. I'll take that sponge. Thank you very much. There we go. Two down. Whoa. Wait a minute. What? Is there three in this room? Wait a minute, I thought I only saw two. I've definitely killed two already. I've got two sponges and two heads. How are all three of them in here? Is there more than just three guardians, elder guardians in these temples now? There we go. Three down and just to prove it, I have three elder guardian heads and three sponges. Oh, there's definitely another elder guardian in that top area there. Yeah, I've seen a little tail sticking out right there. There's another one. How is there so many Elder Guardians? I've never seen that before. All right, well, we're gonna go in the top. Oh, we're gonna get blasted. I don't like it. All right, and we go. Oh, jeez, he's right here. He's right there. Oh, there you go. Excuse you. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get blasted. We gotta go in, we gotta go in. Break line of sight. There's two of them in here. What is happening? <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, I guess I need the extra sponges, but what? And dead. Okay. 
All right, two more down. And again, I'm going to collect my trophies just to prove it. Um, where's the other head? No, you don't go to wait. You're mine. Okay, we've officially killed five Elder Guardians in this one monument. And there may still be a one or maybe more in the other wing that we haven't tackled yet. It should be just in this one. Let's see if we can break our way in. Oh, no. I blasted my own TNT. That's not good. I'm about to get shot. Whoop, whoop, bob and weave, bob and weave. And there we go. Blast our way in. Oh, there's no two more at least. Oh, no, there's two more in there. Okay, one down. Ooh, I'm, I'm low on health. I think we got him, though. And there's our sponge. How many have we killed? Seven. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that should be it. We do need to swim around looking for the room. It definitely would have been easier if I came in with invis potions, but... Ah, that was kind of more fun, I guess. All right, let's see if we can find something here. Ooh, a lot of the guys in here. Now, what we could do, since uh, we have walls in our way, is we could use the same trick, I suppose, to uh, cover up the TNT so there's no water around it, and then blast our way through. Like, that might be the gold thing, actually, since it's got the dark prismarine. Um, no, but there we go. We just made a we made a hole. Now we can get through. I like that. That's much better than trying to get through this maze. We still have mining fatigue. There better not be any more elder guardians in this place. Hey, oh, I found it. I found the sponge room. All right, that's good. Not all of these places actually have them. Wait, was I supposed to bring something special for this? Oh, good. Mining fatigue is worn off. We are clear. Oh my goodness, 34 sponge. So seven from the guardians we killed and then another 27 in this room alone. That was quite lucrative. Now there is a chance there could be another sponge room. Probably super rare, but I might as well take a second to look around just in case. Oh my goodness, jackpot. We found a second sponge room. Uh, excuse me, you're gonna have to leave while I clean this place up. Oh wow, 68 sponges. We definitely hit the jackpot with this one. I was gonna raid a few monuments today, but I think one will do. 64 sponge will get the job done. So I guess I'm just gonna blast my way out of here at this point. Very successful mission, I would say. And while we fly back to our base, let's take a quick commercial break. By now, you probably know that ExpressVPN has been an amazing sponsor to my channel. And you've probably also heard me talk about how using ExpressVPN can protect your data and put a stop to internet service providers being able to sell your private information to advertisers. But beyond that, ExpressVPN really came in handy on a number of occasions when I was having some issues with my connection to Hermitcraft. Luckily for me, all all I needed to do was change my region using the ExpressVPN simple to use app and my connection cleared right up. A true lifesaver. Also, I've been itching to watch the hit TV series The Office, but found it's not available on Netflix in the US. But I was able to tunnel my data through a server in Canada and there it is. Just the entertainment I needed while hollowing out this mountain for my dwarven build here on Hermitcraft. So if you have connection issues like I do or you want to unlock region based content while protecting yourself with the VPN I trust to keep me private online, consider trying ExpressVPN. As a gift to all of you, my amazing viewers, you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash impulse. I'll put a link in the description below so you can tap that and start protecting yourself today. Now, let's get back to some Hermitcraft. And of course, these are wet sponges, so that means I get to do this. Ooh, that's super satisfying. And somewhere I have a fancier hoe than this, but at least it's got a little bit of enchantment on it so we can insta-mine. Yeah. I'm having a little bit of a hard time finding things around here. I don't know why. I mean, I'm pretty well organized. All right, let's go soak up some water. So with all that water out of the way, that means we can get back to business here. And I think I still have some more TNT in here. Yeah, 22 more. We are hitting some deep slate now, so I'm not sure what that's going to change as far as what it's blasting out. I might actually want to start keeping my eye out for some diamonds. So I think I'll just drop one at a time and um, let's get blasted.
Well, the TNT definitely, definitely got us down pretty far. And it was time. It was time. I ran out of TNT. It was barely making it to the bottom. It was time to switch up the methods. And as you can see, I've got a little helper right now. Pearl's down there. So this is the new method. And in fact, I didn't even know this was a thing. But apparently, just like on stone, you can spread moss onto deep slate and then just mine it out instantly, right? With with a hoe. So that's what we're doing now to remove it. Um, I don't really need deep slate that much. I have a bunch of it already from what I did manually dig. So yeah, this is what we're doing. And this is going to be a, probably a much quicker method and a lot cleaner, if I'm honest. And then we can tackle these, these little moss lava pits as we need to, but I got myself a nice new hoe to help out, so I don't have to recharge it as much. Got ourselves some uh, ancient debris from the, the nether there, and uh, Pearl showed me a, a really cool technique for doing that, just digging out a chunk at layer 15, and it was pretty quick. So yeah, we're, we're together digging this down, and I don't know how far I'm gonna go. I guess I'm just gonna keep going until I get bored of this, but good news is I got plenty of moss now. So after hours upon hours of dropping TNT and then hours upon hours of doing the moss technique, even with Pearl's help, we have managed to get ourselves down to negative 21. Um, pretty good. Not bad. Uh, but <laughs> I was hoping to get down to bedrock, but it's not going to happen today. We have to take a break. Otherwise, nothing else will get done. And... Um, an episode of Hermitcraft that is nothing but me digging a big hole. I, I don't think it's going to be that enjoyable. So I do have another project I want to get to today over in the industrial district. We'll do that here in a second. But first, I'm going to meet up with Cub and XB to discuss exactly what we want to do about this diamond pillar situation. XB, ender pearl, like, down to it. And then throw another one straight up in the air before that one down there hits. And then you'll have just a, a second to grab it and teleport back. <laughs> Let me see if I can. <laughs> see if you can I'm do this. Good with, see if you can probe no maneuver this. Okay, up, up. Yep, there you go. Speedy and now go. Incredible, right here. Get it, get there it, get go. it. Did he get it? Oh! <laughs> Mission successful. <laughs> nice. nice job. Look at him. Look at him. That They're was like, really what impressive, the? actually. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of looked at him for a second. They were looking at me, and then I just disappeared. <laughs> that was amazing. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> so about these diamonds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a whole um, lot of diamond. Boy. It's a whole yeah. lot of diamond. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess we just take them back. Right? Yeah. Just we tried, you know? Take I still think we did better because, you know, full blocks of diamond. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 we did pretty good. I mean, we did really good. We we could have won it, I think, if we wanted to, but we yeah, if we yeah. if we really tried. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We, had, yeah. We, we had this. We had this. Now we didn't. I know we didn't like contribute equally, but I kind of remember that. Oh, phantoms are coming. Well, now I saved your lives, so I might need a little bit from you guys. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I remember my initial contribution was like a diamond pyramid, so I wasn't quite at three stacks. Yeah, mine okay. was a little over three, but I'll just I'll, I'll yeah. just take three. Yeah. Yeah, mine was I think just above six stacks. <laughs> Jeez. So. Okay. Yeah. So we'll make sure you get back your six <laughs> stacks. All right. Well, we'll just take them back. You know, with what we, you know, think we contributed, and we'll see if there's any left over after that. Maybe this mm -hmm. anvil. You know, this doesn't belong to us. So we gotta return this to sender. Exactly. Yeah. Return yeah. to return to yeah. sender. I like that idea. So um, mm -hmm. I guess we just I guess we just take it down. Yeah. Just start, start yep. taking them. Taking start them down. taking them. Here we go. Do you guys hear Scar over there? <laughs> he's he's talking about Star Wars. He's streaming Star right Wars. now, right? Yeah, talking to his chat about Star Wars. Well, I say we just take the anvil and we just we just go give it to him right now. Yeah. I, I mean, why not? Yeah. Right? He won't be able to hear us because we're in a group. But yeah, let's sneak up on him. Yeah, we can hear him. And as for as for uh, my team, <laughs> absolutely loved it. Couldn't have asked for anything more with with, with the. Oh, great. <laughs> What's going on? Are they being nice? 
<laughs> they're big and nice. <laughs> they're big nice after I shot them so many times. I thank you. I shall put this over here. I think okay. they're in a call. Yep. So I cannot hear it. He's got it figured out. All right. Anyway, let's yeah. pick up our We were wrong. He'd moved on. He's talking about MCC. Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's better. Okay, so I got yeah, a couple we stacks. Up our mess. I got a couple stacks of diamonds. I'm good. Like I'm happy with, with my haul right now. Uh so here's okay, I think like I, I said, I think I put in like three stacks maybe? or whatever. The rest were cubs. All right, I think I had let's see, this one, two, three, four, five, six about this. I think uh somebody else needs these. Let's see. Yeah, that's a, that'll do it. Uh maybe a little bit extra. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, I'm good. Yeah, yeah I'll give I'm you a good. little extra XP. Oh. There we go. Now I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, that's about what I put in. Nice. nice. All right. Well, we didn't win the thing, but uh, we didn't win. But really, did we're we still win? Winners. I, we I feel did. like we did kind we, of win. We had the <laughs> we had the fancier blocks, right? Ours, yeah, right. ours was ours probably would have made it to the top in in ore form anyway. Oh, definitely. <laughs> so, oh, that was like a couple times. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But uh, yeah. That was fun. That was a fun little thing. It's fun teaming up. I see you guys. Neither one of you are wearing your uh, your diamond block bro beards, but that's okay. Oh, oh, I that's... got it. I got it. Just one last just... time. Just one last hurrah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> it was in my pocket. All right, all right. There we go. Let, let's let's take a let's Beautiful. take a little outgoing picture here. There we go. Yeah. Diamond block bros. Whatever we call diamond ourselves. Diamond block bros. <laughs> we out. So I decided since I was in the area, I might as well check on iTrade just to see how business was doing. And I discovered um, it's business is booming as usual. It's great. Uh, making all sorts of sales. Okay, well, those weren't good examples, but look at this. This is a problem, actually. We've completely sold out of mending, which isn't good. That means hermits that may need mending right now, they have no way of getting it, um, at least easily. So we need to do something, right? We need to get our villagers back in trading hall form because I need to do some trading to do some restocking, obviously. But look at all the diamonds we're getting. This is great. Wow, today has been very lucrative on the diamond front, I must say. We're back to being absolutely rich, but yeah, so I'm thinking about it and if you recall currently our villagers are just hanging out here in a in a box over in the industrial district. So I think today's the day we're going to actually do what that sign kind of says villager trading hall today's the day we're going to get these guys back in cells and set it up so that if we want to do any more conversions to get their prices down we can really easily and we can swap them out with other villagers and stuff pretty easily as well and i have a design that was given to me by megatronic and i'm going to use it because it seemed pretty smart and it has all the features i'm looking for in a trading hall so first things first since the trading hall is going to actually be here I need to move these guys kind of out of the way. All right, I've shoved all of our villagers into this little area right here, and that should give us enough room to build up the villager trading hall, and then we'll get you guys back in because you look you look a little cramped in there. Hey, wait a minute, guys, there's lots of room over here. Why, why are you guys all huddled over there? There you go, that's better. Spread out, spread out. Give each other some elbow room. Anyway, <laughs> now that that's out of the way, that means it's time. Let's get building. Well, this definitely has the hall vibe of a villager trading hall. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. We've got 42 total cells here, and these are actually really cool because we've got some redstone controlling the ability to eject, 
and send them off to a zombie to get zombified and then healed up and then bring them back if we wish to bring down their prices. Of course, you know, we have infinite emeralds, but it does help to bring down their prices as far as trading goes. Just makes life easier. We don't have to have so many emeralds in our pocket and stuff like that. So I probably will be doing that, making sure all of our villagers are down to as low as possible and then probably won't be keeping all of our librarians in here forever. I think I'll be trading some of these out. So it's going to be nice to be able to kind of shift them around and this system allows us to do that look at this we got a minecart in the system just want to demonstrate this we press the button it drops out and then it will go down to yeah down to here so we can send it on to a zombie to to get dealt with we'll say um <laughs> or we can or we can send it to another villager breeder and bring in somebody new if we wish so lots of options here i gotta hook that part up next but then basically when it's done what's going to happen is they're going to come back and get inserted into the top here. And this is the part where the redstone is actually pretty clever. Because you see, when we press that button, it activated this comparator, which flips this rail. And that means when the cart comes back, it knows it needs to bring it back into the cell. And the same system is set up all the way along. So anytime we eject a villager from the system, it knows exactly where to put it back. And then as it comes back in, it resets itself. So pretty cool design by Megatronic. So thank you for sending that my way. I do appreciate it. And um, yeah, this is going to work perfect for me. So I guess now's the fun part. You see, I have to get these guys out of here and in alphabetical order. <laughs> That's going to be rough. Um, in fact, maybe what I can do is, because this thing is so configurable, all I have to do is figure out which cell they need to go in as I pull them out. So let's say that impaling guy was, was the first one we pulled out. If we get these signs in place and figure out who goes where, we could always come here and say, let's just say, for instance, this is the cell the impaling guy goes into. Well, now it would know as we bring him in to drop him into this one. So I guess I don't have to pull them out in alphabetical order, which is actually kind of nice now that I think about it. So I guess just another perk of this design. So very cool. All right, well, wish me luck. This is gonna be a very tedious process. We've got to bring them all in. And I guess we're also gonna find out, did we lose any villagers in the process? And after about an hour later, we've got every single one in place. And I have good news. We only lost one. <laughs> I guess that's good news. We only lost one villager in that entire transfer, the projectile protection for guy he, he, i can't find him he's 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 gone but luckily for us right across from where he was supposed to go this loyalty three look at that projectile protection four is the second trade so i guess we'll just not worry about him and i could probably i don't know i could move everybody down one or else i could just put somebody else in this spot um and i did actually bring in a few other random type villagers we need to get them their proper workstations and i'm I'm not sure if I'll keep a fisherman around or a Fletcher. I'm not really not really sure I need these ones. But yeah, we do have some decent ones in here where we can get some some diamond gear, right? And those those will probably stick around. We'll get them workstations and we'll keep them in and make room for some more. What are you? Oh yeah, I had a little bit of a little bit of an issue with um I skipped Curse of Vanishing on accident when I named all these signs. And so when I realized it, half of the guys were in and I wasn't going to Maybe maybe he will move down into the projectile protection four spot and he'll be out of order. I know. I know that's going to bother a lot of you, but this was so tedious. I'm I'm not rearranging them. Not today, <laughs> but there is more work that needs to be done. And it's it's simple stuff, right? So we have to get a villager conversion chamber in. I think I'm going to sneak it into the back area here. Um, and that'll fit nice and tight right in here and we can kind of hide it. And then also we need to get a little brewing station set up so that we can get some splash weakness potions. So as they kind of make their way out of here, they get splashed with the weakness potion and uh, and then we'll be able to heal them back up. So anyway, uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that today. We've uh, spent 
<laughs> we spent a lot of time on uh, today's episode already. I mean, hours upon hours of digging out our dwarven mine. We're getting there. We're getting there. Maybe next time we will start getting some interior work done on that. And also, of course, now that we're starting to build stuff up here in the industrial area, um, we got some cool stuff. It's working. In fact, this shulker farm was running the entire time I built this. So I'm kind of curious to see. Uh-oh. I already see. I can already see. Yeah, this shulker farm is ridiculous. <laughs> that means all of these are full. This is more shulker shells than the entire server will need for the entire season, I think. Just, just, yeah. Wow. Okay. But anyway, I'd like to get it looking good. So we're going to build up a building around that. And of course, this trading hall. We got to stick with the vibe here. The, the modern industrial style vibe. Definitely. So we're going to be doing some of that building up. Probably mostly on live stream. So I've said it once. I'll say it again. If you're not following me over on twitch.tv slash impulse SV. Please remember to go check that out. And hopefully you can catch me for live streams. I'm streaming every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And we'd love to have you come hang out and chat. And, um, you know, give me good ideas. Give me good ideas. Make stuff, help me make stuff look good. That'd be amazing. So, yeah, if you made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you so much. Please consider hitting that like button if you haven't already, because that definitely does help me out quite a bit. And typically, I would just send you to an end screen and let you guys choose a video from there. But I want to recommend maybe checking out Naked and Scared Season 25. It's a series I do over on the Imp and Skiz channel with my buddy Skizzle Man. And go check it out. If you haven't seen it before, you're going to find the content concept quite intriguing and very entertaining so yeah please do me a favor go check that out and if you like it of course make sure you subscribe to that channel as well and do all those things but anyway that's going to do it for me today hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure you do that before you go and with that said i'll see you again next time have a good one everyone